y'all and make sure y'all check out Jasmine Flowers on I Hear That Girl. It's butter, baby. Okay, so I'm about to get ready to go to this event um, at Macy's with Butter. Butter is one of my favorite skincare brands. And <laughs> y'all, I did everything, got my makeup together and forgot that I didn't have any lashes. So I am sitting outside of this hair store, this beauty supply store, and just bought me some lashes that I'm about to put on. These lashes are great, by the way. They're only like $4, but... Um, I'm about to put these on and I need to get on the road because it's only, it's, it's man far from where I live. So I have to truck it on down there, uh, or whatever. So see you guys in a second. Check me out. Now I can flutter. All right. I need to hit the road. I just wanted to show y'all these beautiful lashes and how it totally makes the eyes come to life. Hello, my flower bloom goods. What's going on, party people? So I just pulled up at Market by Macy's is where Butter is uh, going to be the creator. And Carrie Hilson should be out here today uh, talking about the brand. And I'm just super excited to be here. So I'm going to go in here and see what's going on. See if I can talk to the creator. Um, you know, we're we going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen. It should be fun. I love this brand. If y'all don't know about Butter already, then y'all need to look. It's specifically made for melanated skin. It is a brand that talks about all of our unique needs for people with melanated skin. All the unique issues that we deal with. Hyperpigmentation for one is an issue that a lot of people of color suffer, suffer from, including myself. So I have used this brand. In, in fact, when I get ready to go home and wash these eyebrows down the sink, I will be using their cleanser to take it off. So I love this. So one of my favorite products by Butter is their Coco Shea. It is so moisturizing. And for people like me who uh, I am, I have extremely dry skin. Uh, that Coco Shea, let me tell y'all, moisturize your face at night. You wake up in the morning and your face is still moisturized. So yeah, I love it. So I'm going to go in here. Hopefully I get an opportunity to talk to Dorian, who is the owner of Butter. So we'll see. Before we get into all of that, let's get into this outfit though. This wig, unit Butter number five. And we have this jacket by Rue 21. And then this uh, beige hoodie is by ASOS. And my uh, oversized teal undershirt is from ASOS. The purse is from Dolls Kill. And these waffle beige uh, leggings, ASOS, cream slouch socks, and Ivy Park Adidas shoes. There's a the fit, y'all. I am out here at Market by Macy's. Right behind me, y'all, Dorian Huinaw, who is the force behind Butter, is actually here. I had to come all the way down here to McDonough. I had to come and see him, talk to him. And Carrie Hilson is here, too, the beautiful Carrie Hilson, to talk about this amazing brand. And shout out to Dorian, who gave us, and I hear that girl, a shout out. I mean, I've been vlogging about him for a minute. I love his products, and I don't even think he know it, but I'm on their page because I love their products. Anyway, check out the video right here. We 
have the honor of having what's called the workshop. So with Macy's and our drive to be really diverse and inclusive, we want to help those entrepreneurs get up and running. So the workshop, we help sponsor some women-owned, diverse-owned businesses to give them the storefront of Macy's and help give that, them the investment that they really want in that platform to get up and running. And we are excited to actually host four of those vendors in the store tonight. So when we're done, we're going to go in, we have a fun little mocktail happy hour, and those great workshop partners are going to do some giveaways as well. Okay? So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our mediator for the night, Tahira. Hi, how's everybody doing? Woo! Being at Macy's Market, let's give it up. Woo! I know it's cold, so we're going to run through these questions quickly so we can get right back inside to the party. So, Dorian, let's start with you. Um, you are known as an actor and television host, but you've dived into entrepreneurship with Butter Skin. Why the why the jump into entrepreneurship? Well, it was needed. <laughs> uh, I saw a boy. You know, I would go into stores and I wouldn't see images of myself or people that look like me. And I know I've said this a million times, but it was a lack of education. I didn't know what to use on my skin. I was using products that were not made for us. And so I came up with butter because it was my routine. I used a gentle cleanser, a vitamin C serum, and some shea butter straight off the streets of Harlem. And it worked for me. And I formulated it to, uh, to my liking. And listen to our customers and whatever they need, we give them. And I'm doing this because of all the people out there that look like me, that deserve quality skin care, uh, that looks good, that feels good, and that you can be proud of. Love that. Carrie, you are a Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, now actress. And I know it's very important for you to be selected when you lend your name and likeness to a brand. Why but a skin for you? You're right, I'm very selective. Um, if anyone has, I guess, followed me, uh, maybe my career or social media throughout the years, you see that I have not lent my celebrity, my platform, my likeness to a lot of brands for the simple fact that it has to be authentic to me, number one. Um, my philosophies and their philosophies have to line up. They've got to align. I don't just want to sell people things uh, for a check uh, that don't work or could potentially harm them or make things worse for them. I love to only align with things that I truly believe in and that truly do work for me so that when I'm speaking, my fans understand. Anytime I'm talking or selling them anything that they know that I tried it. Um, and I've given my due diligence, like with Butta. He gave me his samples before it launched, I think. And this was what, two or three years ago? I had like a, maybe even four years ago. So um, when he gave it to me, you know, with skincare, like you want to make sure that you're giving it the proper amount of time to work, um, which usually is 14 days. Um, and so I took that same protocol, although now I've had like four years, three or four years. Um, so I really know what works. I know what products are my favorites. I know how they work. I know what they do. So if a fan walks up to me and it's like, well, what do you think of this? I can actually tell them, or if they DM me and say, I've been thinking about trying to put a skin because I I can tell you authentically, like, you know what I mean? So I think I'm just all about that. <laughs> Authenticity is so important because people know, like the consumer knows when it's not authentic. They can read right through it. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. yes, we have, you know, it's a little chilly, so we had to make some styling happen. <laughs> Take a little a styling um, commercial break here. Okay. Well, welcome yeah. to Macy's Market. Well, you do get a BC Beach coat. And we'll keep you warm in these fall and winter months. I might purchase it. And look how she is styling. Can we get yeah. that for Carrie in the queue? Oh, oh, Oh yes, yes, perfect. We love it, we love it. 
So Dorian, what a skin has tackled everything for the face, but you are launching into well you've launched into body products. So can you give us a little taste of what people can expect from your body line? Well, I know that a lot of us as African Americans, especially in these colder months, we suffer from dry skin. And one thing that I wanted to add to my products was dirt quench because it keeps you moisturized, it keeps your body smooth for days. You know, I had, you know, ashy feet and ashy ankles in the winter time. And so I really wanted a product and a wash to, you know, not only cleanse me, but to polish my body and, you know, really do it from head to toe. That's our motto at Butter. You know, we take care of you from head to toe with quality products that give you a glow. And uh, everybody deserves it. So we have our body line and we'll be expanding into more products next year. Congratulations, because it's no easy feat to get into the skincare game and to do it successfully. So kudos to you on that. Um, Carrie, let's take it back to you. What are some of your favorite Butter Skin, butter skin products that you've incorporated into Shocked. We got electricity up here. Um, my favorites are the cleanser, obviously. It's like a gel cleanser. It's awesome. Um, my, the vitamin C serum is another favorite. Um, even when I'm switching my order, my skincare, I actually use that morning and night um, because I love how it shrinks my pores, especially when I'm wearing makeup. Like I, I actually put it on before my moisturizer and then my makeup because it actually tightens your pores. So you know how like tightening your pores keeps impurities out. So it helps me not break out when I'm wearing a lot of makeup, when I'm filming or when I'm just wearing makeup for consecutive days and things like that. So that's really my safe, my favorite if I had to choose one. But I also like the um, facial shea butter. I love the whipped body butter, um, which the body stuff just came out. So I tested that out for the past few days. Um, I've been wearing that on my decolletage. It helps me look healthy, like glowy my shoulders. Um, I worked at the premiere the other night. Um, my film, thank you. Uh, shameless plug, For the Love of Money, comes out Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, um, so y'all go see that, grab your family and friends, it's a fun ride. Um, another one comes coming out on, on Christmas, um, well, December 6th or 7th, I, I, I can't remember which one. I just know it's like a couple days after my birthday. Um, anyhow, I wore that at the premiere, the with body butter, and I wore it again at our butter shoot yesterday, and it's a new favorite. So I've already been harassing him about, okay, now I need mine. Yeah. Um, did I miss? Oh, the rose. There's this. There's this mist. Uh, what is it called? The rose. Aloe rose. Aloe rose. Refreshing. rose. Refreshing mist. Okay. So let me tell you, mask. When I'm wearing my mask, sometimes I get. I think they call it mask knee. When you're getting like an acne, you kind of break out, right? That has happened to me at airports when I'm traveling and on planes and things like that, right? So I guess it's the the rose, you know, rose water um, is calming and aloe are both calming. So I had this redness and irritation. It was kind of like rosacea-like around my chin. And I used that mist and it was like, it cleared me up. So this stuff really works. Yes. Like I'm not going to tell you something. I'm not going to just be, I'm not the like, what do you call those teas? Those tummy teas and things like that. Like, Y'all ain't never seen me do that. Okay? So you can trust my word. When I say something works, it works. No shame and shame. No shame and shame. Okay? Yeah. No, I love it. And it's the perfect time because, like you said before, about we have to keep that skin nice and moisturized, especially during these cooler months. So you can get some for yourself and gifts for your friends right here at Macy's Market. So I have to read this so I can get this correct. So Dorian, I hear that you are the the first black founder in the cosmetics category at Macy's Market. So talk to us about how this collaboration even came about. First of all, give me five minutes. Yeah. 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 first <laughs> but I will take that over anything uh, because I mean I just wanted to I just wanted a few people to love it and so for the brand to be successful it is beyond humbling for me to be the first uh, it's beyond humbling and a little scary <laughs> but I will do my best to lead 
the pack and hopefully I am not the last. Hopefully I uh, am the leader of the new school to bring more brands like myself into Macy's. Um, this collaboration came along. Honestly, it was my dream store. When I first thought about Butter, I wanted Macy's first because I would come here and get my cologne and my underwear, anything that was intimate to me, I came to Macy's to get. So it was my dream, but my dream came true. So, you know, that's how that happened. And uh, I think that, you know, it happens. Dreams actually come true. <laughs> yeah. that I use that I'm actually about to get ready to use to uh, put my eyebrows on down the sink okay I love all of his products that Coco Shea 
is the truth. Uh, so listen, Market by Macy's is now the home for his products. Y'all have to go and get uh, butter. It is made for melanated people. Made for our skin. Our unique needs, this brand addresses them, okay? You got ashy ass skin, get the Coco Shea. You have issues with breakouts. Uh, as Carrie Hilson said earlier today when she was on the panel, she had had um, breakouts along the where the mask was. So she used uh, one of the products that had aloe in it. I mean, he offers a ton of products. Like he even has body um, like uh, products for your body as well for, to address that ashy ass skin. So like soap and uh, body wash. So y'all check that out. Like I'm such a huge fan of his products. Yes, I do reviews, but I saw his product um, and wanted to try it because it was for black skin. I mean, I, I was sold there. And then when I tried the products, they were absolutely amazing. So I would encourage all of you all to go look on the website or if you are in Georgia, uh, actually, I think they said he's in two locations, one in Saleville and one at um, Market and Macy's in, uh, where is that? Uh, McDonough, Georgia. So y'all have to try it out. It's absolutely beautiful, amazing. Um, I stand by these products. Y'all get y'all some butter, okay? Now listen, tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, this is a whole weekend of vlogging. So tomorrow I'm going to my homie's, um, her gender reveal. You know, y'all have gender reveal, baby naming. Goddamn, the baby born, they got all that stuff. Okay, I ain't, I ain't about to trip. But I'm going to, uh, shout out to Lanidra and Mario. I'm going to the uh, gender reveal tomorrow. Um, <laughs> funny story. I don't think she'll mind me telling this. I'm not going to tell the gender of the baby just yet until like it's shown on camera. But uh, like her doctor's office ruined her surprise. So she knows her, um, the father of her child knows a couple other people know, including myself, what the gender of the baby is. And she was so upset, but she still decided to have the gender reveal for all of her family and friends who will be in attendance uh, for the revealing of the baby's gender. <laughs> and, and listen, let me tell you something that's so weird, right? Three years ago on Facebook, she did this um, crazy ass, like, you know those tests on Facebook? Why three years? Tw 2018. Um... It told her April 15th, 2022, she would be having a baby. Y'all, her baby is due April 15th, 2022. And I'm going to tell y'all the rest of the story uh, for that when we do the gender reveal tomorrow. Because it's a little bit more to the story. But like I said, I don't want to ruin it because... She hasn't said anything about that. So tomorrow at the reveal, I will finish the rest of this story. But it's really, really kind of eerie and also very special that three years ago, Facebook predicted that she would have a baby three years from now in April 2022, April 15th, 2022. And her baby is due April 15th, 2022. So it's just, it's kind of awesome, actually. So we are all anticipating the birth of this beautiful child so <laughs> shout out to my friend Lenidra and uh, the father Mario so I will see you guys tomorrow I'm gonna take off this makeup and I'm gonna get me something to eat